Kung po Warriors and to all of you who are tuning in right now. Hi sa inyong lahat. Kamusta kayo? Welcome to our um, Facebook and YouTube live Tai Chi session. How are you guys doing? But before that, let's check our video quality. How is it? If it's good, type good in the comment section. What about our audio quality? If it's clear, type clear in the comment section down below. How are you guys doing? Kamusta na kayo? It's been a while. During the past week, we had some broadband issues. Actually, hanggang ngayon meron pa rin, but my team and I really did our best to go on live tonight because I miss I miss each and every one of you. And aside from that, um, my team and I decided also to go live for Tai Chi for once a week because aside from Tai Chi, I also like to share some other forms of Kung Fu like the long fist, the sword, the spear and I'm also going to share with you how I train one of these days. So, kamusta na kayo? Um, to, from Pix. Hi po, hello to you. Hello to Lulian. Hi guys, hello to Ronald Dalanon. Hello to Marzan. Hello to Melly Grace. Hello to Cherry Jacob. Avisala Batalumang Ether. Avisala Eshma. Hello to Andrea. Hello from Italy. How are you guys doing? How are you coping up so far? Hope that your family is safe. Hello to. Ch uh, Cherry Jacob, sabi niya, I am a Kung Fu fan. Wow, you are in the right place. Hello to Jelian Banguran. Tiba ikaw po yung naglike. Ah, okay. Hello, hello to Sangre Sanghaya Best. Kamusta, Abisala? And Lulian said, Ciao, Andrea. Hello to Meteor Garden Star Avisala. And there's a Japanese word here and said, Hi, I'm a big fan. Hello to you. Guys, how are you doing? How are you coping up so far? Stay strong. We can get through this together. And yeah. Hello to Altea Jane Pablo. Thank you so much for watching. And to Elmer Menor. Uh, please mention me from London. How are you? I hope that everyone is um, doing great. Um, send me some love by pressing the like, share, heart button, and then subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, also follow me on my Facebook page so that we can all uh, be updated of what's happening. So, kamusta na kayo? Since alam natin lahat na our quarantine will be extended until the 15th, right? How are you coping so far? Each day when we wake up, we need to wake up with a grateful heart. Be thankful that we can still move, we can still breathe, and enjoy the little things 
despite this uncertainty. But the truth is, we are so powerful. We are so powerful that we have the ability to make things, create things, and change things. But it's sad because most of us have taken that for granted by not eating healthy and taking their health for granted. But in an instant, you can change that. You can transform yourself and rebuild yourself. By joining our live Tai Chi session, you are empowering yourself and starting to take good care of your health. Take this time to recharge, heal your mind, body, and spirit, and discover your true inner strength. That's basically the reason why Kung Fu Fit was born. Not only to share Tai Chi with you, some martial arts, self-defense fitness, but to have a support system. Whichever part of the world you may be, know that you are not alone. We are in this together and we will get through this together by being healthy. You know what Kung Fu Warriors? Each day when I wake up every morning, I, I am truly grateful that through Tai Chi, I, in my own little way, I can make a huge difference and touch your lives. And through Tai Chi, I can connect with you. So, if you are a first-timer or you have already joined our previous Tai Chi live session, you're all welcome. And right now, I'm going to be continue, going to teach you the Form 5 of 10-step Tai Chi Shen. So, you can just play back or review our previous videos, Forms 1 to 4, and join us. So for today, I believe you are already very familiar with our Tai Chi warm-up, stretching exercises, hand form drills and footworks for the forms 1 to 4, the repulsing the monkey, parting the wild horse's mane, brushing and twisted step. I'm sure you're already familiar with that. And our Tai Chi standing meditation. That's why for this session, we are going to concentrate with Form 5. I'm going to teach you a new lesson, all right? But before that, send me some love by pressing that like, share, heart button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep you updated, as well as to my Facebook page and Kung Fu Fit page, okay? So, as you do usual, find a little space where you can move. Uh, you can just extend your hands like this or upwards like this. As long as you're going to be comfortable. Also, uh, you can wear any comfortable clothes and shoes. Okay? Hi, John! Kamusta na? It's been too long since we last see each other. So, Okay, so there's Jean Michael Castillo, Abisala. Abisala rin sa'yo, Abisala Eshma. And hello to AK. Jean Michael Castillo, Abisala Eshma sa'yo. And yeah, so we will be starting our session right now. I'm gonna put this down and talk to you later but you have to listen right now because I'm gonna be okay share with you another form okay we call this form 5 of 10 step Tai Chi Chen wave hands like clouds so we're gonna begin with our hand form drills okay So, 
stand up right feet together put your hands on the side of your thighs lift and step out your left foot toe touching the floor first this is one two raise your hands up to your shoulder level and then down to your abdomen and now okay so this is the last one right forms four the parting the wild horses made now we're going to continue with our form five wave hands like cloud so move your left hand horizontally across your abdomen and then turn your palms right hand palm out left hand palm in this is one okay then two move both hands in opposite direction left hand to eye level right hand drop down to your abdomen this is one okay this is two and then three turn your waist to the left now once you turn your waist to the left you will automatically bring your hands with you i'm going to show you okay so i'm just going to move my waist and bring it to the center like this okay see so from here i turn my waist and then my hands automatically moves with it this is three and then four continuously turn your waist on to the left until you reach a 45 degree angle then turn your palms right hand palms in left hand palms out and this is four okay so from here this is two three and then four okay two just have to repeat again and again three and then four okay two three four okay two are moving on with the footworks so this is a lateral step okay I'm gonna show it to you guys I'm gonna begin here so that we have more space okay ready put your hands at the back bend your knees this is one two strap your left foot toe touching the floor first Okay, and then three, shift your weight to your left leg. And then four, bring in your right foot beside your left foot. Okay, with knuckles or palms apart. Okay, but not more than your shoulder width. Okay, that's four. So again, so two. three and then four okay so once you step in make sure that both of your feet are parallel to each other not one in front or one behind so it should be parallel okay so again so this is two three Okay, now we're going to move on to the other side. Okay, this is two, three, four. Okay, two, three, four. Okay, in some cases, if you're going to have a problem like 
paralleling your legs because sometimes uh, there would be a discrepancy, meaning sometimes it would be a little bit back or a little bit forward. That's okay, but make sure it's just a little bit, but not too much like this, all right? Okay, just a little bit is okay. Okay, again. So two, three, and then four. Okay, every time I do the stances, Every time I, I step out my foot, I always lift my leg. Why? Because if you don't, it's going to be so heavy. Then the movement will not look soft and gentle. Alright? The movement will not look as one fluid motion. Okay? So let's do it again. Okay? And uh, we need to familiarize ourselves because later on, we are going to connect our upper and lower stance okay ready go so this is one you bend your knees you two you step out okay three you shift your weight see if i shift my weight there's no weight on my my other leg so keep would look uh, your movement it would look look soft okay so this is four all right again did two Three. So make sure that when once you shift your weight, you are fully shifting your weight on one leg before you move on to the next movement. All right, to keep you balanced. Two. Three. Four. Now let's do it on the other side. Okay. Two. Three. Four, two, three, four. Okay, let's do one more. Two, three, four. Then up. So, how do you feel, guys? Okay, is it easy? Actually, the movements is really easy, but sometimes it's very confusing because you're gonna are gonna connect your upper and lower stance. However, but through practice, I'm sure you're gonna get it pretty much easy. Okay, so right now uh, we are going to combine the upper and lower movement. So, as we all know, Tai Chi uses the mind, the flowing movements and the breathing to direct the chi to circulate effectively throughout our body. What is chi? Chi is the energy circulating in our body. It is a source of life. But too bad, some of us have a very low chi level, that's why we get sick. But what if we can regulate it? We can increase our chi level. Then we can live a long, healthy life free from illness and sickness. And right now, I'm going to show it to you. We are going to connect the upper and lower movement. Okay, ready? Let's go. Okay, so we stop at parting wild horse's mane from this movement. And we're going to connect that. Okay. Okay, so one, move your left hand horizontally across your abdomen, turn your palms, right hand, palm up, left hand, palm in, this is one, two, move both hands in opposite direction, left hand raise up to eye level, right hand down abdomen, this is two, three, we are going to turn our waist to the left. Now, once you turn your waist, your hands will automatically move with it. Just like this. I'm going to show you. See? I'm just moving my waist, not my hands and my arms. Okay? Alright. So, from here, this is two, right? Three. Once you turn your waist, you're going to pivot your heel and turn your toes forward. Like this. So, from this direction, alright? going to turn my waist simultaneously pivot my heel toes pointing forward and then shifting my weight 
to my left leg like this so this is three and then four I continuously turn my waist to the left on a 45 degree angle all right and turn my palms left hand come out right hand palms in then I'm gonna bring my foot beside my left foot with knuckles or palms apart okay that's four so from here we're gonna do the two move both hands in opposite direction two okay and then turn my waist to the right bring it to the center like this and then continuously move to the right on a 45 degree angle then turn my palms okay right hand left hand all right that's four okay so from this you need to step out once you reach four you need to step out your left foot from here okay so from here position both palms okay here down position and then stand okay we'll do it again okay now we will do it with the counting ready go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay once again So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, before I do my eight, I'm going to land my foot completely on the ground. That's eight. Yes, and then transition. Okay, to the center. And then this is 10. All right. Okay, we will do it once more since this is a new form for your new lesson. Okay, let me know if you're getting it, okay? Or if you're having a trouble or having a hard time. All right, so. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm gonna do the next movement for that. Okay, so from the 10, okay, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so if you will notice, the 2, 3, and 4 is always the same. And just look at the feet. Okay, 14, 15, then 16, okay, 17, you land your foot, move both hands in opposite direction, 18, then 19, 20, and then 21, you bring it to the center. Okay, so from here, you're going to do the next movement of Form 6, which I'll be teaching with you. I'll teach that to you in our next lesson. 
Okay, so let's begin here with 10. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you land your foot. Change hands, okay, center, and then to the side, 19, 20, 21, okay, so um, as you will note it, it's 21 counts, it's really easy if you break it down from 1 to 4, or 1 to 10, and then 10 to 21, but just keep on practicing and I'm sure you're gonna get it, okay? So we'll do it again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so how are you doing guys? Were you able to get that? Or do you want me to do it again from the beginning? After departing the wild horse's mane, we're gonna do the full 21 counts. Alright? Okay, so from here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 21 counts. Okay, did you saw that uh, on my 10th move? It's really confusing from here that you're gonna step because that's a lateral step. But from when you, okay, when you uh, came across the uh, uh, move number 10, from here you don't have to step your left foot or right foot, you just need to stay as it is and then just let your hands move the movements. Okay, so I'm going to do the back view of this all right so that you will see what's happening at the back would you love that okay so let's do it one 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, much clearer for you guys okay I hope that you all can follow along all right so let's do it again one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay? So, how are you feeling, guys? Were you able to get that? Or you want me to do another back view? Okay? But I hope that you're follow along with me. You're doing it with me. Okay, so let's do it one last. All right. One. that when I do any forms of or movements of Tai Chi I begin my movement and end it at the same time so when one move everything move when one stops everything should stop okay that's the only way that you can maintain a one fluid motion there's no pause or stop in between okay and then one more thing where the wave hands like clouds you should maintain uh, one line meaning so when you do the lateral step make sure that you are not doing setting up and down and setting up and down. it should be just one line okay so I'm going to show you what I mean okay from here or any sense you're doing just for the lateral step okay so from here look you shouldn't be doing it like this and then like that no okay again stand up and then down again no okay that's why you don't have to do it very low you don't have to do a low stance you have to do it in such a way that you have control over it 
okay, that you can still carry or lift your whole body, okay? Um, that's the reason why through um, practicing Tai Chi, it can really increase your leg strength. So, because imagine from the start up to the end, you are carrying your whole body weight, okay? So, and even if the movement is so hard, your face should just be, you know, calm. You cannot cringe like that or do anything else, all right? So the, your face should look very calm, very relaxed, and then focusing on the movements, okay? And on the breathing. For the breathing, I'm gonna share that with you next lesson because I don't want you to get confused with that. I want you first to memorize the forms, okay? Of the upper and then the lower, okay? And after that, once you, um, you're very familiar with it or somehow you are you memorize it already that's the time you can incorporate the breathing so that you won't get confused because of what for the forms five it is really confusing yes the movement is very easy okay but uh, when do you uh, bring your foot to the center or stuff like that okay so better um, practice this again and again okay until you memorize it okay so one more time I'm gonna do a front view and another back view okay so that for you to see okay so um, reminders uh, when you do the lateral step don't do it up and down just maintain a one line you know one straight line okay and then when you do the movements you start and end at the same time just think of those things, okay? There's no pause in between. All right, let's do it again. So right now I'm gonna do it without pause after counting, okay? Just one fluid motion, all right? So from the part in the wild horse's mane, we have form five, wave hand like clouds. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 2021 okay so I hope that you're getting that okay but I know all of you my Kung Fu Warriors you're such a fast learner so I know you can do that all right so now we're gonna do the back view one more time this time without pause I'm just continue, gonna do it in one continuous motion all right One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, I hope that you were able to get that. Okay, how do you feel well, for the Forms 5? Is it easy or... A little bit confusing let me know I'm gonna grab my phone now okay all right okay so Chris Lee Bombo hi from Belgium hello speaking of Belgium I love Belgian chocolates Wow I miss that very much 
Okay, hello from AK. I'm from India. You're awesome. Well, thank you. You're so sweet. Hello to uh, from Von DG. Wow, nice. Lulian said it's very relaxing. It is. And unwinding my mind and body. Yes, you are relaxing your mind and body and increasing your energy level throughout your body. Okay. How style? Tai Chi Shen, feeling good. Okay, hello to RG. And hello, Batluman. Hi. Okay, hello to Sifon Lido. Nice, humpang. Thank you. Xie Hello to AK. It was nice. I am new to this, so finding it very difficult. So it's okay to find it very difficult at first because since you are not used to it, but once you keep on practicing it, you'll notice that as you go along, you feel much better about yourself. And at the same time, you feel good about yourself because the movement is like, you know, just bringing you from side to side and up and down. All right. So just have to um, take some time and go back to my previous lessons in fact on my youtube channel i have forms one to four of 10 step tai chi chen and i also have some basic tai chi chen exercises for you that you can do so that you will not be um overwhelmed all right but thank you guys for for that okay hello to zahir hello janice Hope you're well from Cape Town, South Africa. How are you, Zahir? Um, I hope that everything is well with you and with your family. And I know that we're all going through this very hard times, but I still hope that everything is good with you, okay? Hello to Gretchen, thanks for tuning in. Hello to Hannah de Jesus Balboa. Hi, madam. Hello, kamusta ka na? How have you been? And good evening then to you. So guys, alam ko right now all of you have been missing so much to go out because we are just we just need to stay home because why? Because we need to stay safe and that's the only thing that we can do right now to to be with our family. So take this time really um be with them and Aside from that, take this time to know yourself as well. Ask yourself what is it that you really want to do? And um, what is your passion? Maybe this is the best time for you to reflect. Ask yourself, what am I going to do with my life? What do I, do I want to achieve? What is it? You have to know. Because once you know what you want, and then the how of getting there, it's going to be... I'm not gonna say that it's easy, but it's gonna help for you to achieve what goal or dream do you have in mind. But first, you have to ask yourself, what is it that you really wanna achieve in your life? And then the how will follow, and then the action. Of course, having one dream is one thing, but achieving it means another thing. Because um, in order for you to become successful in any goals or dreams that you have in your life, you have to take action. All right, same thing with our health. If you want to be healthy, then you gotta need to take action. All right, you need to give yourself time to really be healthy by working out and exercise. And for those of you who are not really very athletic or first timers doing some uh, sports and exercises, Tai Chi is good for you. It's best for you. It's best for everyone because it's a very low impact exercise that everyone can do. That's why doctors recommend it. So that's it guys. I'm so happy to see you all the tonight i miss each and every one of you but of course don't forget to send me some love by clicking that like share heart button you can also subscribe to my channel on my youtube janice home on my facebook page um janice home as well and if you want to see the bubbly side of me then you can go on follow me on tiktok janice home and also my twitter okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this session with me if you have any questions then you can feel free to send me a, a message and join my kung fu fit community because as i mentioned
mentioned before, aside from learning Tai Chi, you will also learn different forms of Kung Fu. We have the Long Fist, so if you watch more of Jet Li films, Jackie Chan, Star Wars, that's basically it. You see them flying or fighting uh, over a bamboo or, you know, that's really amazed me. That's the reason why I got into martial arts, actually. And then I could also share with you some um, sword, you know, some, some of my skills in sword, spear. And as I've told you, we'll do a live training, okay? So basically how I train, um, I'm going to share with you how I do it. And maybe you can learn from that too and incorporate that with your exercises as well. So join my Kung Fu Fit community, okay? So you can also be a Kung Fu warrior. Okay, so that's it guys. Again, for the last time, send me some love by liking, uh, clicking the like button, the share button, the heart button, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will be updated all the time of what's happening and also to my Facebook page and Kung Fu Fit page. All right, so that's it guys. Take good care of each other, take care of yourself and train some more. Okay, I'll see you again in our next lesson. Bye, Kung Fu Warriors! Hello guys, kamusta kayong lahat? Hello everyone! Hi everyone! Hi! Hello guys! Hello! Hi! Hi everyone! What's up everyone? Hello everyone! I'm inviting everyone to mag-join na kayo! Sumali na kayo sa Join Kung Fu Fit Online Kung Fu Fit by Janice Ho A Kung Fu Fit Kung Fu Fit Kung Fu Fit You can learn Tai Chi and Kung Fu If you wanna know how, you can ask my friend Janice Ho Kung Fu Fit Kung Fu Fit Kung Fu Fit Kung Fu Fit